Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we are joining factors today. First off, we are going to talk about variables. We're going to simplify factors, and then we're also going to, at the end of the lesson, show that we completely understand it by taking a term and expanding it out to show all of the factors. It'll get a little bit complex, so you need to pay attention very closely, especially at the beginning. Let's talk about it. I'm going to define some terms here. This, a variable, when I say a variable, I'm referring to the letter. For example, in this term, 12a, a is the variable. 12 is our coefficient, that's a number, right? And when you see those two things together, 12a, it means 12 times a. That is very important for us to know. That means that they are factors, 12 times a, so 12 is a factor and a is a factor of the term 12a. We're going to take this to the next level when we talk about this term, a, b. a is a variable and b is also a variable. However, you can still expand them out and say a times b because that's what it means, which means a and b are both factors in this term a, b. And while this might seem like it's kind of, um, I don't know, overcomplicating things, just watch what happens when we actually simplify terms. And I think all of this will make sense, but it's important we get that down and make sure we're all on the same page before we move forward. If we are asked to simplify this following into a single term and you're given X times Y times Z, how would you do that? How would you simplify that down to being just a single term? Well, we would write it out as x, y, z. We get rid of the multiplication between each of them and we simplify it down to being a single term. That makes our life easier. So we have to recognize that that means multiplication. x, y, z means x times y times z. Let's go ahead and simplify this into a single term. This is 2 times P times Q times R. Try that out. Try simplifying that into a single term. Go. Did you write 2PQR? In this case, we're just getting rid of all the multiplication symbols, right? All of that works out. And because each of these can't really be joined together in any special way, you're just writing out all of those parts squished together into a single term. However, when we get into something like this, it makes it a little bit more complicated. And the reason for that is you can join together three times four. Three times four is 12 times J times K, and that will give us 12 J K. Notice the J and K are just like what we did before. The only thing that's a little bit new with this is that we are going to multiply any numbers you get together. So your coefficient or your number will be all those numbers multiplied together and then your variables will all be listed afterwards. I want you to try simplifying one right here. 2 times 7 times n times o. That's um, o is a lowercase letter o. It is not a zero. So try that one out simplify it and come back to the recording to see if if you got it right hey welcome back 2 times 7 is 14 and then no stays there so it's 14 no um <laughs> there's 2 times 7 times n times o we would write that as 14 no now let's try this we're going to simplify this into a single term this is a little bit more complex, 5a times 3b. And it's the most complex multiplications that we're going to be looking at will be something like this. So I want you to try simplifying that. How would you do it? Think about that for a second and then watch what I do. For me, one of the easiest ways to do this is to first expand. So I took 5a and wrote it out as 5 times a. I took 3b and wrote it out as 3 times b. That just helps me to recognize that these are 
just like what we did before. So I'm going to multiply the numbers together. 5 times 3 is 15, and the variables get written down, a, b. I want you to try doing one like that, 10y times 5x. Try that out. Sim expand it if you need to and simplify it. Um, you don't need to expand it all the time, but it's sometimes helpful. Try that out, pause, and then come back to see the, the result. Hey, welcome back. For this one, it's 50xy. Again, I multiply the numbers, 10 times 5 is 50, and then our variables end up there. Notice I did not write it out expanded this time. You don't need to write it out as an expanded um, you know, expression. However, if, you, if it helps, I encourage you to do that. Let's try another one. Try simplifying 1 times a. Now this one might seem a little complex because 1 times a, you'd normally just write 1a. However, anything times 1 just gives you that value, right? 5 times 1, we wouldn't write it as 5 times 1, we just write it as 5. 6 times 1 is 6, a times 1 is a. So we don't write 1s in there. When we're expanding or simplifying, we never write a 1 in because it's just implied that you could multiply times 1 and it won't change the value. So let's simplify by not writing the 1 in there at all. And I just wanted to point that out, that this is how we write it. You would never write 1a or 1b or 1c. You would just write that variable. All right. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit. And all of that, by the way, you'll get lots of practice on the worksheet for those types of questions. What we're going to now do is called expanding. We're going to expand a term like 9gh. And what you're doing when you expand it is you're going to expand the number into the prime factors, and then you expand the variables to have multiplication symbols between them. That's it. So you might get out your prime factorization, dust off that lesson for writing out prime factors and then expanding variables. 9 is equal to 3 times 3, and then gh is equal to g times h. So when we expand the term 9gh, it would be 3 times 3 times g times h. And that's it. We have now expanded the term. I want you to try this one out. Try expanding 6rs. Remember to take the number and expand it into the prime factors, and then take your variables and expand them apart. Try that out. What are the prime factors of 6? 6 is 2 times 3. So it would be 2 times 3 times r times s. Let's practice another one, 35mn. Pause and practice that one. All right, 35 is an interesting number because the prime factors are 5 times 7. So it would be 5 times 7 times m times n. That is the expanded term, or the term expanded into its prime factors. One more example here that's always a fun one. Any multiple of 12 is going to have lots of factors, uh, lots of prime factors, I should say. So try that one out. Try expanding 12 into its prime factors, and then x and y, you need to expand them out, putting a multiplication symbol between them. Go ahead and try that one out. Did you get 2 times 2 times 3 times x times y? It's kind of big. On the worksheet, you're going to get numbers that are even bigger than this. So make sure to watch the or practice using the worksheet and then watch the video of the recording um, to get a full explanation for all of those if you have any questions about the, the answers on those. All right, so a couple things to remember. This only works with multiplying. It does not work with adding, subtracting, or dividing, right? Expanding and simplifying only works with multiplication. So when you're asked to simplify or expand, remember that you are working with multiplication 
And the key to this is practice. So check out that worksheet, watch the video for full solutions of the worksheet, and good luck on the quiz. Have a wonderful day.